have always been very proud of my talent in astrology. Huh? What in the... Is that my voice? I believe that astrology is a valuable discipline and that it is capable of revealing the inner workings of this universe. Oh, that's me talking to my... When people discovered I could perform divination, they began to bombard me with inquiries. When is my missing son going to be found? Do they love me or not? Will I ever recover? Being the honest person I am, I told them exactly what I saw through the scry glass. bring about resentment, I... I couldn't lie in the face of such a noble art. Astrology is a scam. That's insane. Can you please leave me alone now? I need some space. as if I was being stabbed with razor-sharp knives formed by their disappointment. I could see the future, yet I felt miserable, as if I'd fallen into an abyss. Astrology reveals the truth unreservedly, but not everyone is willing to accept their fate, no matter. Running into difficulties is part of practicing the craft. I must also become stronger myself in order to convince people. I once met an adventurer on a mountain who also happened to be picking fruits. He was even kind enough to share some with me, so in return, I agreed to perform a divination for him. The results were terrifying. I advised him to give up adventuring as soon as possible, otherwise he could meet his end within the next two years. He fell silent for a while. Surprisingly, he didn't doubt the results of my divination like others had, but he looked quite perplexed. Even so, I have to keep going. Adventurers can't just give up in the face of hardship. With that, he picked up his pack and headed for the peak. However, try as I might, I could never forget that incident. Why is that? Astrologists are able to understand the most complex signs among the stars. And because of this, they are not allowed to show any arrogance. If one believes that astrology grants them unlimited power, they will face banishment by the stars. In the past, I was ignorant enough to think that I understood all fates in the universe. Maybe it was some form of punishment. But I became lost. I couldn't see the stars any longer. You should not get confused. If you should become confused one day, not even astrology will be able to help you then. That's what the old hag said. We astrologists can't predict our own fate, but today, those words seem to carry a different meaning. Mm. 
I understand now that people won't always follow a beacon's guiding light. Even though the way forward may be dark and dangerous, they will still resolutely forge ahead. Fate is called such precisely because it cannot be altered or reversed. I understand the governing laws of the universe and have glimpsed secrets between heaven and earth. Observing it is enough for me. There are no perfect legends and no heroes that can save everyone. Instead of dwelling on my helplessness, what I... He sees my own destiny. View. Lady Magistus, I believe this is the firmest evidence yet of your immense genius. You truly are the greatest archmage in the history of the Immanachreich. Thank you. Although the Immanachreich really doesn't have that much of a history. Stars like diamonds and the moon like a pearl. This is the most brilliant night sky I've ever beheld. It's beautiful. To call up such a mirage, Mona must have a vast and boundless sea of stars in her heart. Hmm. Oh, I'm just thinking. These must be the things that we aspire to. This night sky is incredibly beautiful. In fact, I might go so far as to say it's even more beautiful than what I usually see in divinations. All the stars are in their rightful place. This is definitely my mirage. Only here can I see extraordinary sights like these. Extraordinary? Why do you say that? You know, the night sky of Tevat is truly marvelous. All the answers in the world seem to have been hidden within. When is my missing son going to be found? Do they love me or not? Will I ever recover? As your stars move across the sky, they record all your life events in their path. And among all the people in the world, a considerable number will see their stars deviate from their path. When your stars are on track, it means you will be healthy, happy, and at peace. Conversely, if your stars go off track, everything will get worse. The starry sky in my divinations would never look as perfect as this. Some stars would lose their way and... Others would fall. I wish everyone could be happy and stay on track. To this end, I offer advice and tell the truth. I know it's useless. All fates are already revealed in the night sky with mine too, just another among them. I can't change anything, even so. Outside of astrology, outside of the words of truth, I still cling to the wisp of an irrational fantasy. We must all live within the confines of reality, but... Call me presumptuous. But I still believe in miracles. In this vast sea of stars, there are stars for you, for me, for everybody. What are the chances of one star encountering another? Are these encounters not the most wonderful miracles in all of destiny? I don't know, but within Tevat, the stars in the sky will always have a place for us. Even if astrology is resolutely rational, fate remains arbitrary, cruel, but romantic. <laughs> I think I have figured out what those stars are hiding. Now I will seize my own destiny.
There was a transparent bird made of crystal. It was beautiful and fragile and could sing the most beautiful songs. But since mortals couldn't see it, they believed it to be a trick. How could a transparent bird possibly exist, let alone sing? When the bird heard that, it flapped its wings and flew across mountains and seas all the way to the night sky, where it turned into a star. Its brilliance was so dazzling that it illuminated everyone. It allowed all those that could see it to follow its light through the dark night, to sail through the seas under the guidance of the stars. It was born in wisdom, but trapped in ignorance. It has never voiced a complaint, for this is its destiny. Guiding people to see their destinies is the very meaning of its existence.